Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com. Uh, you already saw, I think in my last video, that I was working on this dragon. He's kind of big. I did take him down to my basement to try to um, finish up the armature and out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> so I brought him back up here and he's now taking up my entire dining room. Um, he's really huge. I should measure him. Um, I haven't done that yet. I what, maybe six or seven feet long. Um, it's also getting really heavy, and I'm going to have to get some help uh, moving him. So I'm thinking that next time I make something this big, I'm going to be, um, I, I like the idea of using the um, uh, the wooden sawhorse that I, that I use for his legs. Um, I really like the way that it supports him, but because of the weight, I think I would go ahead and use chicken wire for the body and the tail and so that he could be hollow. I hate chicken wire because it pokes me all the time. Um, every one of those little sharp points seems to grab me. Um, but in, in a case like this, because it's going to be so heavy, I think that's what I would do instead. And you would still have the support so you'd be able to pick it up without breaking it. I think that would work really well. Um, just the addition of these um, rebar bones here, which got quite a bit bigger than I had actually intended. I was going to make much smaller wings, um, but it's really hard to cut, and so I just decided to go ahead and, and bend one ten-footer. I'll show you how, how I actually got that attached, by the way. That was kind of tricky, but it, it is really solid. Um, I still need to put the fingers on, of course, uh, and the membrane that goes uh, down to the body, but I'll do that a little bit later because when I add the paper mache clay, I'm going to need to actually put this guy down on his side so that I can do the bottoms of the feet and under the tummy and other places that it would be really hard to reach when he's standing up like this. And I don't want a whole lot more uh, really thin wire sticking out. Um, I'm, I'm sure one of them would end up poking me somewhere. I have a real thing about wires. <laughs> I don't know why. But he's close. Um, right now, uh, all that I have left on the body is to uh, finish up the, um, the points, the little spiky dealies that go all the way down his uh, backbone. I'll give him a, um, a what am I going to call it, a, a beard. Um, next time I do this, and this is going to be a whole video about what I would do if I did it again do it differently because I, I don't think I would ever make another creature the same way. Um, I used duct tape thinking that it would stick better than the masking tape and it doesn't <laughs> but that may be because I used a really cheap brand of, mas of uh, a duct tape. I don't really need a dragon so I didn't want to spend very much money and I think that was a real problem. I also wouldn't use the foam board again. I used foam board for the um, pattern on the inside and I don't think I'd do that because cardboard would actually be stronger. That, that seems non-intuitive, but uh, since the foam board was an inch thick, but I really think the cardboard would have been a better bet. And like I said, instead of stuffing the entire length of the body, neck, and tail with paper, I would have made it hollow. So um, let me show you just a couple more things I did here before I go. Um, I, I think all of this is pretty obvious just because you saw um, me taking them apart and putting them back together again in the last video, but just let me show you a couple more things. Here's another view from a little bit different angle. Uh, you can see that those rebar wing bones are really quite tall, much bigger than I had intended. The, um, <laughs> the armature for this guy is really hard to photograph because I can't get far enough away from it. So there's always some foreshortening. Um, so I won't actually be able to show you how this guy really looks until I can move him outside and stand a little bit farther away from him. Um, there's only one piece of rebar. It's 10 feet long and I bent it in the middle and then bent the, um, the elbow and the wrist um, at the angles that I wanted, um, I had a little sketch from my um, taken from a, a photograph of a bat wing uh, to help me with that. And then I slipped it over, well, I guess under, you'd say. I slipped it under the uh, lower neck and um, did some fancy wire work to create a harness so that the, uh, so that the wings wouldn't move. 
it's the lightest rebar you can get at the building supply store. I think it's 3 8 inches. So even though it's really hard to bend, you can bend it by yourself without any fancy tools. Um, you can cut it with a hacksaw, although you'd need a sharper blade than the one I've got. <laughs> so I'll have to work on that. Um, and then um, the wire that I used to make the harness was just some baling wire, some thin iron wire. And I covered all of that with um, paper and um, some duct tape. The wings are now on really solid. They're not going to move, which is exactly what I needed. And I also used a little bit more of that bailing wire just to uh, wrap around the tail where it crosses over um, itself. I wanted that to not move very much either, just to make it a little bit more solid. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. Um, I'll go ahead and finish up the spines on this guy. Um, I'll put some uh, paper mache clay on here in a couple of days and I'll see if it actually sticks to the um, duct tape. I hope it does and I hope I can get this guy finished. This is not my favorite thing I've ever made, I've got to admit, and that's one of the reasons why I'm going so slowly on it. Um, he's huge and I really do want to get him finished but I'm not ex exactly excited so far about how it came out. What I'm hoping is that I can take a little bit of time and paint him in a way that's interesting to kind of bring up, um, get, get a little more character in the guy. That's it for the day. If you're making a dragon, please let us see it. If you're making anything else, I want to see that too. So come on over, ultimatepapermache.com.